We finally have brand new Toe Aru anime in 2024 that features the third ranked level 5 Misaka Mikoto versus the second ranked Kakine Teitaku, aka Dark Matter, in the most unlikely place, a goddamn Kachinko machine. While this ain't season 4, this is still cool as hell. We finally get to see number 2 Fight. and 3 face off for the first time in the franchise. But the question is, who wins this level 5 showdown? Let's watch and find out. So I've already watched the fight once already, but I'm going to do my reaction for it, and then I'll do a little breakdown of the fight afterwards. Let's begin. So yeah, this looks like the Index 3 animation. Here we go, Miska versus Kakina. And this fight has never happened before in the franchise, so this is pretty cool. And Lord, the wings aren't CGI. Can you believe that? Look at that new animation of him flying. Like, this is crazy. I can't believe we got this in a pachinko game of all things. <laughs> using the... Was that using, like, the wind? Let's watch that again. So, Misaka she charges the electricity. Yeah, Kikina uses, like, the wind or air manipulation or sound or something like that. She manages to kick him and then launches some lightning. I think he blocks it. And then she's using some metal, metal pole, and she hits him and wins. <laughs> or knocks him out. Right, so that was pretty short, but it's understandable because it's from a pachinko game of all things. So it's not going to be like a, a full anime fight scene that you would expect in like a actual show or movie or whatever. But... It is surprising, like, I was not expecting we'd get something like this in a pachinko game. Like, this is brand new animation, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but what did I think of the actual fight? Well, I think Misaka won, but is the fight meant to be scripted? Because, I don't know, <laughs> this is from a pachinko game, so I'm not sure if the player is meant to be Misaka in some capacity, so that if you, like, win part of the game then you get to beat kakina I, I don't know how it works someone can explain it to me but i'm pretty sure this isn't the only like index pachinko game i think this is the like the number two the second pachinko game for index correct me if i'm wrong well yeah i don't remember the other one getting anything as cool as this <laughs> even if it was brief i honestly think kakina would take it <laughs> if it actually did occur in the actual series because Let's face it, this probably isn't canon. I highly doubt it is. If we take Kikina's statement about his wings, or one of his wings be able to withstand a railgun blast, then that kind of nullifies Miska's trump card that she would use in the fight. You know, her trademark railgun attack. But Kikina could have been over-exaggerating, because we know what he's like. He is very full of himself, believes he should be the number one when he falls a bit short of that. <laughs> or maybe you think he's the true number one, like... I, I don't mind if you do. I'm not hating on Kak. I, I like Kakina. He did also react to, like, Misaka's electricity, which is pretty decent. I feel like he will be able to do that in a series, even though they've never actually physically fought until now, that is. Because he did fight Mugano off screen, and he didn't, like, sneak attack her or anything. So he should be able to, like, react to her meltdown of beams. Therefore, I think he should have no problem with her electricity even though in the light novel it's stated to be at light speed in some places, but that can be kind of disputed, but we won't go into too much detail about that. Like, Misaka did manage to land a few hits on him, which I don't mind, but the thing is, Misaka would find a hard job, like, to put Kikina down unless she, like, incapacitated him with the electric shock or something like that. As if you've read the light novel, you know Kikina can take a hell of a lot of punishment and just get away with it. So, yeah, it's, it would take a lot to kill him uh and i don't think misaka is willing to go that far honestly and then yeah you have like the fact he can manipulate the lights around him into laser beams which accelerator had to jump away from i'm not sure if misaka could defend against that to be honest and then of course if kikina launched his wings at misaka he can just transmute like whatever object she puts between uh him and her even the iron sand she, like Kakina can just, like, change it into a different substance or just completely disintegrate it if he wanted to. So I'm not sure how Misaka would be able to defend herself in a fight, to be honest. But yeah, I still thought it was pretty cool, even though <laughs> I do think Kak would win. Uh, I know people on Twitter have been, like, complaining about it, <laughs> which, <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. It's non-canon. Who cares? But it will be interesting to see them actually throw hands, like, 
in the novels or in another form of media. The way I think Misaka could win is if she had the AAA because that can kill like immortal beings and it probably would be able to destroy dark matter. But if you haven't read the light novel, you probably don't know anything about that. So I do recommend watching my Misaka Powers Explain video if you want to know more about the anti-art attachment, which is a cool weapon of Misaka's that she gets in the novels. Another thing I want to mention is that Kahina's wings weren't CGI, which is a pretty contentious issue when it comes to how Kahina appeared in Index Season 3. Because in the trailer for Season 3, his wings weren't CGI. They were 2D animated, but then all of a sudden in the actual anime when it aired, they were turned to CG. And I guess it was because, oh yeah, Dark Matter is this otherworldly substance. It's not from this world. So that's how they justified it with being CG to contrast it from like the other normal matter in existence. But then later in the World War III arc, they introduced the EQ Dark Matter mechs or suits. And they use Dark Matter as well. Except this time, they are not CG. It's 2D in that scene. So it doesn't seem to be consistent. And now they've reverted back to CG. But I can understand it for a cutscene in a pachinko game because it's not like they're going to hugely invest into like that kind of animation style for this i don't think well i could be wrong i don't know but yeah i i think the wings look really good here so i like that about it so nice job whoever animated this it, it probably was jc staff because i can't imagine another studio doing it for like a Tuaru ip It'd be weird if it was but i could be wrong who knows but it probably was jc staff and kahina's design did look very similar to jc staff as well as miska's design so yeah probably let me know who you think would win in the fight, Miska or Kakina. And should I make a full video on this? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe for more Toaru related content. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.